Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. All right. Getting ready. I'm ready. Wedding. Okay, that's Welcome very good. Excellent. Start the new the week. Yes, <laughs> starting another week. Okay. Well, you know, th this is very fast. You know, I, uh, this morning when I got up, uh, it was uh, 4.30 and then I said, oh my God, Monday. But then phew, suddenly, you know, it was evening. Now I'm here. So I'm about to one more hour and then go to bed. So the day finishes quickly. You don't feel it. So you, do, you have, do you have water for, for the uh, shower this morning? Yes, yes, I, uh, I think in, in the pillow, you know, <laughs> cold water, okay. cold water, yes, I have from the sink. It's yes, very it was cool. very, yeah, no, it was cold, it was cold, but it was delicious, you know, and I woke up very quickly. So then you, you go to, you know, you take a shower, you're kind of sleepy, but after, yeah. the, sh after the shower, you are like, you know, like brand new. Okay. Instantly. Yes, you wake up instantly. Yes, you okay, no, wake up in the moment. Yes, that's true. Okay, people, then we have a... Uh, well, they're coming in, so let's, let's get it started then. Check. Okay, so last uh, Friday we finished with the reading, right? And then today we're going to start the second section. It says, we had a great time. Okay, we had a great time. What does we had a great time means? So what does it mean? And then you say, we had a great time. For example, if I ask you, how was your weekend? You know, it was great, it was nice, it was excellent. I had a great time. So it means that I, I, it enjoy, uh -huh. I enjoy it, yes. I enjoy it, Sad. we had a great, probably, what would be the interpretation in Spanish? La pasamos bien, right? something like that, right? Because we don't, we don't say in Spanish, tuvimos un tiempo grandioso. Okay, sounds very rare, very weird in Spanish, okay? So we find an interpretation and then we say, we had a great time, it means that we enjoy it. It was almost perfect, right? So then uh, probably you did all the activities or some activities that you enjoy, that you like. Probably alone, with some friends, with your family, okay? Or, I mean, it doesn't matter, right? Just that you feel good. Uh, Urania, can you please read the instruction, no, the, the objective here? It says in this lesson. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. In this lesson, in, in this session? 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 Mm -hmm. Session? Session participants will listen to a conversation about two people and the activities they did during the past weekend. The past weekend. Okay, so then uh, what are some verbs that you remember in past tense? Past. Mm -hmm. Play, played. 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 What else? Work. Worked. Mm -hmm. mm, went. Went. Study. So, studied. Played. Played. So. Eat. The past tense of C. Uh -huh. Watched. Okay, I tell you the person and you tell me the past. Eat. 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 Mm -hmm. Run. What is the past tense of eat? Eat. It's an irregular verb. Say eight. Eight. Eat. 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 Uh -huh. eight. 
Uh, let's see, uh, right? Right. Rot. 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 Okay, right. Rot. Okay. Speak. Rot. Speak. Spoke. Okay. Spoke. 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 Listen. Spoke. Listen. 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 Uh, for example, uh, we can say also, let me see. <coughs> Bye. Bow. 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 Come. Come. Came. Come. Came. Exactly. Came. Came. Come. Came. Come. Came. Come. Uh, think. Think. Thought. 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 Uh -huh. Think. Thought. Thought. Okay. Thought. Yes. Uh, say. Said. Said. Mm -hmm. Tell. Said. Tell. Told. 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 Uh -huh. Tell. Told. Drive. Yeah, Draw. Oh. Draw. Oh. Okay. Ride. A motorcycle. Ride. Road. 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 Uh, right. Road. Uh, let me see what else. Uh, drink. 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 Okay, drink, Rage. drink. Okay. Uh, what else? Breathe. Like read a book. Read. 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 Read, okay. read and read. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, go. We say go. Yes, when? We say when. When. Okay. So if you see when. all these are you know like verbs commonly used right in English. And that uh, we need to, to we will need to use them now in this in this session. Okay. Let me see. Now let's watch the video. And then we have the question: Did you do anything? Okay. Did you do anything? So what did you do last week in May? Now listen, pay attention to pronunciation, intonation, and the the structure of the question. Right? What did you do? Ah, wait, wait, wait. Ya te puedo baño. Let me check, let me check the volume. Volume in your computer. Sure sound here. Okay, yes. Hi to all. Welcome to section 7. We had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. This conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Hi to all, welcome to section 7. We had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. This conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down. Okay, here we have. If you see in the first, in the first uh, question, what is the verb that you see in past tense? Did. 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 Okay. What about the next line? Had and went. Had and went, right? And had and went. And then in the next one? Sung. Sung. Sang. Sang. Which sang. is sing, right? Sing a song. What about the next one? Uh... Did. 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 Okay, and the next one? 
didn't. 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 Uh -huh. Went. 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 The next one. Uh, did. 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 Okay. The next one. Didn't. 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 The next one. Stayed. 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 Uh -huh. Studied. 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 Okay. Teacher, please repeat. Studied. 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 Get. Get. No. no, the last one is impressive, right? Don't worry. Okay. You, okay. Always get a, you always get an A. Okay. okay, yes, the last one is forgot. Okay, good. Okay, so then uh, you can identify the past tense form of the verbs. Uh, this one is very easy, right, in Spanish. Because in present, we only have two forms, right? Uh, work and works. Okay, for example, let's see the first line. Did in present is do. And for he, she, it, does. Correct? Uh, the next line, we have had. Had in present is have. 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 And for he, she, it, have. Has. 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 Okay, so that means that with three verbs, Okay, three verbs, have, had, and has, we can speak in present and past in English. Okay. We don't need, we don't need to, to conjugate more verbs, right? We don't need to conjugate more verbs. We only say, for example, I went, you went, you went, we went, they went, okay? Okay. Uh, turn off your microphone, please, if you're not speaking, so that we don't have the interruption. Thank you. Okay, then uh, if you see, for example, in present, we only say, I go to work. We say, Freddy goes to work, and uh, Joel went to work yesterday. Okay, in present, I say, I go to work, Freddy goes to work. In past, I say, I went to work. Freddy went to work. Okay, there is no difference. Okay, but we need, that's why in English we need to we need to use the subjects I, you, he, she, we, you, they, right? Because in English I say in Spanish I say fui. Ustedes saben que fui yo. I went. Right? If I say uh, el eh, fue, could be ella o él, right? He or she. In, in English, you say, she went, he went, it's necessary, okay? Because if I say only went to work, who? He, she, or it, we don't know, okay? Or we, or I, but if I say, we went to work, ah, okay, my group, my family group, or, or my wife and I, or my son and I, right? And if I say Urania went to work, we know that is she. Okay, so this is, let's say, the easy part. But what we need here is to remember, okay? Remember the past tense of verbs. And there are two forms of verbs in English, right? In past tense, we have regular verbs and irregular verbs. Okay, what are the regular verbs? Uh, when are only... Uh, he did. Uh -huh. Look at this part of Rick. I just stayed home. Stayed. He did. I studied. I did. Okay, so these are regular verbs. Okay, and the other ones are went, change everything. Okay, so uh, I don't recommend too much. To, unless, I mean, if you say it's getting right, unless you want to do it, you can probably 
memorize and use a list of verbs. But uh, I don't know if it is, I mean, if you have the time and if you have the, let's say the, the ability, right? The ability to memorize because uh, the other one, the, for me, the best way, personally, in my opinion, my experience is use the words in context, okay? La mejor forma de aprender es usar el vocabulario en contexto. And use on things that you do. Okay, on things that you do. For example, I, uh, I go, for example, I, uh, what, what I did yesterday. Yesterday, I woke up early. Okay, I woke up, the past tense of wake up. I woke up early. I got up and took a shower before 7 a.m. Then I had breakfast. Then I went downtown, okay? I went downtown because I needed to buy some things for my house, okay? Uh, I got, I got a ride downtown at 10 a.m. I bought the things I needed and I came back home before noon, okay? After that, okay, I had lunch, I rested for a while, and then I started to put up, I started to put up the Christmas lights outside my house. Okay, so you see all these verbs that I use with activities that I did yesterday, okay? So then uh, I can say that after that, you know, uh, I, I ate, uh, we ate pupusas with my family and we turned on, we turned on the Christmas lights. So we had a great day, okay? So this is, you know, just the idea of juice, using the verbs and organizing your thoughts, okay? Organize your ideas in a chronological order, right? Chronological order. So that's very important, right? Because you begin when you woke up, when you got up, you took a shower, thing. you know, I gave you a description, right? But it's not necessary to be so descriptive, right? You can say, four or five things you did the day before, uh, one or two things you did in the morning. You can say, for example, I woke up early yesterday because I needed to go downtown. I went downtown and bought some things that I needed. I came back home, then had lunch, and in the afternoon, I put up the Christmas light outside my house. After that, we had dinner with my family we turned on the lights and it was a great day. It, we had a great day. You see, it's, then you can, uh, you can expand or you can reduce. I mean, you can play, right? It depends how you want to express yourself. Okay, questions about vocabulary from this conversation? Or expressions? No? Okay, just remember, paraphrase, parafrasear. Okay, this is past tense. What did you do last weekend? If it is in present, what do you do every day? Cambiamos el tipo por do. What do you do? Y en vez de last weekend, what do you do every day? Mm -hmm. What do you do every day? Okay, in past tense, what did you do last week? What did you do yesterday? What did you do last Saturday? If you want to be more specific. What did you do last month? Okay, what did you do last year? And if you see, it's relative because if you say, what did you do yesterday? Probably the activities will be more extensive. 
But if I say, what did you do last month? Oh, last month I, well, I just worked and went to the beach once and I uh, visited friends and played soccer on weekends. That's it, right? There were many things, but you know, these are probably the most relevant that you remember from last month. What did you do last year? Oh, last year I, I went to Guatemala. I, uh, I visited friends in Costa Rica, and then you can say probably just the most relevant things. Okay, good. Then uh, let's see. Down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did you do anything special? Just listen. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay. Now, this is just introduction. Now here it says, in this session, simple past questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught, okay? This is what I was telling you, right? Now you will see it in context, in a conversation. In this session, simple past questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. Welcome back. So now it's time to study past tense. For us to succeed learning it, we need to learn verbs in simple past. We'll teach you how to make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and negative form. Please pay attention. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Let's talk about questions in simple past. Did you realize the auxiliary we used? Did. We use auxiliary did for questions and short answers, positive and negative. Did you realize what happened to the question after we used did? See the next example. Did you go to the beach? Did he break the window? In each question, the verb is used in simple present because we use did. It is not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? So remember, every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to use the auxiliary did and the main verb goes back to present. For short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past, we must use did within the answer as we saw on the chart. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This takes us to say that we use verbs in simple past when we say affirmative sentences. Take a look at the following statements. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. I suggest for you to study and learn verbs in simple past for you to express past activities and experiences. All right, then, now what we're going to do is this, okay? Think about four things, okay? Four things you did yesterday. But um, try to, I mean, to, to tell me the, the activities you did in the chronological order, right? Uh, not, for example, I went to bed at 10 p.m. 
Uh, I went to the supermarket in the afternoon and then I had dinner at seven. Okay, it's true, they are sentences and they are correct, but in order, right? In a chronological order. In the morning, I, I don't know, I went to church or I stayed in bed. In the afternoon, I watch uh, soccer games or I uh, studied English, okay? Uh, I, uh, I answered the platform of my, my English course, okay? I don't know, whatever, right? So, four activities. You can write the sentences or you can only write the activity or just think about them, okay? That's just your strategy. Two minutes, two minutes to think. Okay, in two minutes, I will start asking to the group to give me your four sentences. Using different verbs in past tense. Uh, try to use verbs that we don't use all the time, right? Try to use different verbs, Google, Google new verbs. Okay. One volunteer, who wants to start? Don't be shy. Me, teacher. Okay, Urania, go ahead. Okay. Do you, do you like Urania or Eli? Which one do you like? Urania. Urania, me gustan los dos. <laughs> okay, good. Go ahead. Okay. Yesterday, I woke up early in the morning. Then I took the breakfast. After that, I did the laundry. And in the afternoon, I went to the supermarket. Very good. Excellent, right? And now we have Areli next to you too. Okay. We have the other Arely. Okay, tell me your sentences. Yes, I woke up at 7 a.m. Okay. I took uh, the breakfast at 8 a.m. I studied English. 
Next, I watch TV the all uh, morning. All the morning. All morning. Mm -hmm. um, next, I did uh, the homework on the work. The homework. Okay. Homework. Homework. Say, at least say cook. Cooked. Cooked. And the T at the end. Cooked. Cooked. Mm -hmm. Cooked. That's the pronunciation in past tense of cook. Okay. Cook is the present and in past tense with the ED, you, you pronounce with T. Cooked. Okay. Cook. Cooked. Okay. Good. Uh, let's see. Freddy. Okay. Yesterday, I, I went out with my pet. Mm -hmm. Besides that, I, I got back to house and I had my breakfast. And then I, I went to, to wash the dishes. Later on, I, I studied for a while. After that, I, I took a rest. Okay, very good. Sounds nice, entertaining. Okay, good. Uh, Flora? Hello. Um, today I work here. I work I woke up very early. Okay. And I prepare breakfast. I went to work. You went to work. And I go and I got home at six PM. All right. Okay, very good. Excellent. So you went to work. Uh, you work all day and then you got back home at 6 p.m. Good. Carol. Yes. <laughs> Tell me your sentences, what you did yesterday or what you did today. Uh, yesterday, I uh, talked on the phone with my friend. Okay. I uh, watched uh, the TV in the series. Okay, the TV series, uh huh? The TV series, yes. I I studied uh, English in the night. I study English at night. At night, yes. Yes, very good, excellent. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now, Hoyle. I woke up at 7.30 a.m. I made breakfast for all in the house. I started work at 9 a.m. I read a book yesterday. I read a book yesterday. Okay. I read a book yesterday. Excellent. Next is going to be Betsaida. Okay, teacher. And yesterday I cooked in the morning and I went to church in the afternoon. After church, I saw a series called, called, called I'm with an E. Then I made dinner and talked to mom. To my mom. Okay. To my mom. Good. Excellent. Enrique. Okay. Yesterday uh, I wake up very early and wash my bathroom and eat at, uh, my breakfast at eight, 11 morning and out uh, I I did no uh, it's pasado is it pasado teacher? I I I what? It's past which it's one? Past, past form. And the change two pairs for for shoes for uh, for my son in the in the supermarket. No, but what was the verb that you asked me, uh, Enrique? Ah, the 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 past uh, the verb is in past. Which one? Uh, no. The the last. And I, I, I don't understand the, the exercise. Mm -hmm. No, yes, when you say, okay, 
Tell me the, the last sentence that you said. Mm -hmm. Repeat the last sentence. Ah, uh, I changed uh, the two two pair for shoes for my son oh. in the. Okay. I changed the supermarket. Ha changed. Changed. Okay, you had yeah. to use the hage, the, the pronunciation only. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you. Okay, the next one. Uh, let's see, Suli. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, uh, yesterday, uh, I went. I went to shopping with my family. I went shopping. Uh huh. I only that. <laughs> <laughs> I went shopping with my family. Where? Where did you go? Um, uh, Multiplaza. Okay, and what did you buy? Um, makeup. We bought. We bought makeup. Okay. Uh huh. And how much did you pay? How much? Uh huh. How much did you pay? Mm. We paid. My, we pay. Um, the monto sería monto. Yeah. Yes. Uh huh. We pay. Okay. Okay. Uh, 20, 20, 27 dollars. 27, okay. Did you like, did you like your makeup? Yes, I did. Yeah, okay, very good. <laughs> you say the verse <laughs> in past tense, very good. Excellent, Suli, thank you very much. Now, Romeo. Okay. <clears throat> good evening. Uh, yesterday, uh -huh. I I got up at ten p.m. Okay. And lunch at that time, I was watching Netflix. Okay. After me, at dinner, I went to buy buy pupusas. Okay. Very good. Well, not very good, very delicious. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, this one. Okay, very good, excellent. And let me see now. Thank you, teacher. Okay, no, thank you. Who's gonna be the next? Uh, next one is going to be Carla. And then Marilyn. Okay, Carla. Hi, teacher. Hello. No, and yesterday I'm cooking a lunch. I watch TV in the afternoon. Right. And I study English at night. Okay, very good. Excellent. Who else? And Mar Mar Marilyn. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, um, yesterday I wake up at 7 a.m. I took the shower. After I went to the shower. And the afternoon I watched TV. Okay. And finally I went to the bed at 9 p.m. I went to bed at 9 p.m. Yes. Oh, that was very early. Huh? Why so <laughs> yes. early? Uh, why did you go what? to bed so early? Um, every day, the Monday to Friday, uh -huh. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. And oh, okay. on weekend, I went to the bed early. <laughs> you you do the you do the opposite, okay? Yes, <laughs> the rest of the people they we go to bed late on weekends, right? Oh. <laughs> no, but it's okay. It's good. It's nice. Okay, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, who else? Norma? Norma, right? Yes, Norma. Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Um, yesterday, I went to the shower. Okay. No problem, no problem. I'm here. 
on Sunday or, or yesterday, I got, I got up early because I went to the supermarket. Uh, then in the morning, my children played soccer. Okay. In the afternoon, we went with my children to a children's party. Okay. And at night, and at night, I drove up to Planet de Rendero and we ate pupusas. Oh my goodness, that was a great weekend. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Yes. Okay. <laughs> you see, for example, uh, how, uh, for example, you can, by listening to your partners, you know, you are getting ideas and then you are using theirs. Uh, you can also recycle uh, some vocabulary, okay? So this is the idea of this exercise. Not only listen, not only that you speak, but also listen to the others, because sometimes they use words or vocabulary or ideas that you ah oh, you remember in that moment. Okay. Now check your check your cell phone, please. And I just uh, sent you some information that I think is useful. Okay. Can you see it? Yes. If you see, for example, in the first column, all those uh, words that you see on the left, the pronunciation at the end is with T. Okay, you say ached. Ached. Voy a exagerar el sonido porque en inglés no, lo no se oye así, right? But just para que ustedes lo get an idea. Ache, ate. Ate. Uh -huh. Ask. Asked. Asked. Uh -huh. Cash, cashed. Cash. Check, checked. Check. Cook, cooked. It's like the K and the T next to it, sin, la, sin vocal. Cooked. Okay, no cook. No cook. T sound at the end. T sound at the end, that's correct. There are three sounds in, in the past tense for regular verbs in English, which is T, D, and the, the, well, it sounds like the ED, right? It says, for example, accepted. Okay, look in the, sec on the, second, the second column. It says advice. Then you pronounce here D, not T. Advised, not advised. Advised. Agreed. Agreed. Answered. Answered. Yesterday, I took a t an oral test and I answered all the questions. I answered all the questions. Oh. And uh, I appeared on TV yesterday. Did you see me? I am famous. No. Okay. No, it's not true. Okay. I appeared. Uh, applied. 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 Uh -huh. Arranged, 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 assumed, never assumed, okay? Assumed is not good. Believed, I believed, believed, belonged, belonged, uh-huh. Okay, so then you have a uh, borrowed, burned, buzzed, cold, say cold, canceled, carried. And then on the last column, the number three, the third one, you will see that it says accepted. This one, this ver uh, this one's here, they have an extra syllable. If you see in the first two columns, I said, uh, oops, wait a minute, it's up here, okay. I say ate, asked, the same word, advised, agreed, but in the last one is an extra syllable, accepted, added, afforded, anticipated, appointed, appreciated, Okay, benefited, then collected, completed, 
You say complete, completed. Complete, completed. Three syllables. And look at the first one. Ac accept. Two. Accepted. So you have an extra syllable, right? Uh -huh. Added, afforded, anticipated, appointed, appreciated. Okay? Then you can go like I benefited, collect, collected, completed, created, decided. I decided to come. I decided to go. I decided to stay. Okay? Demanded. Uh -huh. I demanded. Depended. Deposited. Okay? Distributed. Elected. Ended. Okay? The class started at six and ended at eight. Okay? My day started at four and ended at ten. Okay? Got it. Okay, so you can see uh, you don't need to, to know the verb. Just with those verbs, the idea is to for you to practice, okay? Practice the pronunciation because we don't have that, we don't have those sounds in Spanish. Nosotros tenemos muchas sílabas con consonant, vowel, consonante, consonante, vocal, consonante. We don't use, for example, look in this one, eight. Son como tres consonantes seguidas, right? Del sonido, eight. En ese sonido no lo tenemos en Spanish. Okay, when you say asked, 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 la S, la K y la T, asked, right? Uh -huh. S, K, T, asked, cashed, cashed, all right? So with this, uh, with this verbs, you know, we can practice and uh, tomorrow, for example, we can, uh, you can tell me the pronunciation only with the ones with T, okay? Tomorrow we're gonna practice with the verbs with T. Asked. No, comencemos con la de la última, más fácil. Right? Yes, we're gonna start with the third one. Accepted, added, afforded, anticipated, appointed, appreciated, benefited, or benefited, collected, completed, okay? Tomorrow we're gonna practice that one. Okay, and then we're going to practice with the D. And the last one is going to be the T. Okay? Good. Then this was for, this is for you too. To practice, but uh, the verbs are not, if you see, are not really complicated. It's, they are easy. Right? But the important thing here is not the, to memorize the verb. I want, you to, I want you to do the exercise for pronunciation. Okay? Pronunciation. Okay? So that you can... Uh, pronounce the verbs in simple past, regular verbs correctly. Eh, ¿Quién se me quedó? ¿Nadie? ¿Seguro? Sure, sure, sure. Norma, you, you said it, right? Yes. Yes, we did. No. Yes, 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 you did. Okay. Good. Questions in this moment? Teacher, um, yes, Carol. Puede enviarme nuevamente el, los verbos que no me había unido al grupo. Ah, ok. Please, thank you. Espérame aquí. Ah, no, because, but wait, wait, wait a minute. I have it. Yo igual, teacher. No los tengo. No, ok, yeah. no problem. Ah, uh, yes. Good. Let me check. Give me a second. Because. Okay, there you go. Okay. So then, uh, you got? It? Yeah, okay. perfect. Okay, yes, good. Thank you. Okay, then that's just for you to practice uh, pronunciation, okay? And how to, how to, 
use the points of articulation. Okay, now. Okay, we have time for this exercise here in the knowledge check. Uh, instructions, complete these conversations, questions and answers must be in simple past, okay? Uh, for example, we have to use here. Did you stay? Number three. Stayed or did you stay? Number did you stay? stay. Three. Letter yeah. one or number three. They stay. Did you stay? Yes, did because you have to use did and the base form of the verb. Good. Number two. No. Number one. I, my friend, I didn't, didn't call, withdraw, didn't cold, drove, didn't call, drive. The first one. Didn't call, drove. Uh -huh. No, I didn't call my friend, we drove to a cafe for lunch. Okay, the third one. How do you spend your last birthday? How did you spend your last birthday? How did you spend it? Or how did you spend? How did you spend? The second one. The second one? No. Yes. No. Oh, no, 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 forget it. I, 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 I saw the number four. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh -huh. Then <laughs> here. Yeah. One, two, or three? The, the, the three, three. The third one, right? So because a spend ah. is a spend is correct spend. in only in past tense. Mm. Spend it doesn't exist. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So then is how did you spend your last birthday? Yes. Okay. Yes. Number four. Uh -huh. You're using the auxiliary verb. The, the second one. Uh -huh. The, the number four, one. we use the second one says, I had a party. I have a party. Everyone mm. enjoyed. Enjoy. Didn't but didn't like. the neighbors <laughs> didn't like the noise. Yeah. Okay. Past tense, past tense, negative form in past tense. Past tense. Good. Next one. The number one. The number one says, what did you do? Did. What did you what do? Did you do? Last night. Okay. The next one. Um, the third one. The third I one? The, went, 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 I went to the went new to Jim Carrey film. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Okay, number seven. The second one. The second one. Did you... Do, 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 did you do, did you do, do, do anything special over the week? That's correct. Okay. Did you do? Did you do anything special over the weekend? Yes. The next one. Yes, I didn't. Yes, I did. I went. I went. I went. I went shopping. The pronunciation the words um, unfortunate, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately 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 uh -huh. unfortunately I spend I spend, I spend all my spend money all my then money. the first one <laughs> the first one yeah yes. the first. okay all the birds in past tense this is yes. good but this is in present and this one is spend it doesn't <laughs> exist okay Este okay. nunca lo voy a usar, no existe. It's a spend. It's irregular. Mm -hmm. It's irregular, correct. This one did, went, and this one doesn't exist. Okay. Okay, number nine. The third one. The third the one. Three. Did you... Sang. Did this you one? The second sing. one. Did you the sing. second one. The second one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the yeah. one. The second one. Yes. Oh my goodness, Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Number 10. Uh-huh. The third one. 
The first one? I didn't. The first one. No, I didn't. I didn't. No, I, no was I, sick. Didn't. I was sick. No, I didn't. An apostrophe is incorrect. Was sick. Yes. And didn't mm -hmm. the apostrophe is in the incorrect position. Yes. Okay. Okay, we have 25 okay. out of 25. Correct. It's correct. This is correct. This is correct. And this is correct. Auxiliar is the verb is in present. Uh huh. That's correct. And then, uh, really, when you use negative sentences and questions, auxiliar did and the verb in base form present. Only in the affirmative sentences you use the verb in past tense. For example, I went shopping. Mm. I didn't go shopping. I didn't go. Auxiliary indeed, verb go. Okay. Question Did you go shopping? Okay. Only in the affirmative sentence. Very good. Thank you. All right. Any other question, people? All clear. Now, questions about it? Okay. No. Then the next one we have, in this session, participants will listen to a conversation using past simple. Pay attention for details and pronunciation. Okay. Uh, teacher. Yes. I don't have uh, the verb. You don't have the what? Uh, oh, the I verbs, the list. Have... Why, are you in the group? No. And that's why you don't have it. Okay. Well, join the group and send me a message when you are in the group. What is number? Uh, you don't have the link. Uh, Wait. You don't have the link for the WhatsApp group? Yes. Let me check because... Then we have to go. It's very slow. I'm going to put it here in the in the chat of this group, Arely, for you. And you can click from there. Okay, that's the link. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, when you join the group, let me know. Okay, and I can send you the... Okay, good. Well, we won't have time to listen to the other part of the conversation, but we're going to do it tomorrow. And, um, well, practice the verbs in the, the list uh, for the pronunciation. Remember the, ex the, the last one, right? The last column with the ED, the extra syllable. Okay, those are the ones that you're going to practice for tomorrow. And tomorrow we are also going to have a, a we're going to practice with Regular, irre, irregular verbs, okay? Okay, we're gonna do like at the beginning of the class today, you remember I was telling you the verbs in present, you're gonna tell me the verbs in past, okay? Tomorrow we're going to have another list ready just to practice verbs in, uh, ir, in uh, irregular form and the pronunciation of the regular form, okay? 
So that's at the beginning of the class, just to para calentar, right? To warm up, and then you're gonna tell me sentences, and then we're gonna practice with questions. Okay, people, have a very good night. See you tomorrow. Okay, nine o'clock. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.